सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स गीक चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लूप्स इन सेल्स फोर्स फ्लो सो एज आई नो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हैविंग कन्फ्यूजन इन लूप्स इन सेल्स फोर्स फ्लो सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिमिस्टिफाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लूप्स सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लूप्स इन अ बेटर वे सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ वेरी क्विक एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लूप्स quickly and later on i am going to create one more video where i am going to use the loops to create multiple records in salesforce so in today's video i am going to click on new flow and i am going to create a screen flow click create so first of all let's click on the plus button and use loop element over there so if i select loop over there here you can see first of all i need to provide a label to my loop element after that api name will be automatically populated right and after that you will see select collection variable if i select so in my flow i didn't create any collection variable right so that's why it is not showing me anything and after that it says direction so first of all let's create a collection variable and later on we are going to understand what is a specified direction for iterating over collection right so for now let's close this loop element and i am going to create a get record element over there and i am going to fetch all the accounts available in my org right so object i am going to select account in the condition requirement i am not going to provide any condition so i am going to select none over there and select all records i am going to store all the fields so i am just going to click on done now as you know that get record element is similar as or same as collection variable now i am going to use my loop element and i am going to provide a variable or you can say label as acc and api name will be automatically populated and in the collection variable i am going to select accounts or you can say all accounts right that means my loop will run one by one on all the elements or all the records that i am fetching from my salesforce org right now you will see a specified direction so i am going to select first item to last item when i run my flow you will understand what this direction means let me just for now click on done right after that i am going to use a screen inside my flow just to let you know how loops actually work so for example i am going to use a screen and on the screen i am going to use a display text api name let's say account name display or whatever you can write display account name something like that and in the body i am going to write account name as now you know that i am inside a loop element right so acc will store the current record or you can say current account record so let's say for now i am going to write here insert a resource and i am going to select acc now here you will see current item from loop right so i am going to select it and i am going to select the name so here you will see acc dot name so first of all let's assume let's say our get record element will provide us five account so then five account are fetched into the loop element and first of all it will provide the name of the first uh, account then it will display the name of the second account then it will display the name of the third account like that right and one more thing i want to add here i am also going to write account so let's say i'm going to create a variable here let's say count data type as number decimal value 0 and i am also going to provide a default value to it 0 right so to the first screen i am going to click on done right and in the screen label i am going to provide display concept and click done now before moving uh, to the next step i need to increment my count right so before uh, moving ahead i am going to use a assignment element and type here increment 
count here i'm going to type count which is the variable and in operator i'm going to select add and here i'm going to type one so basically in the count variable it will add one and this will show me the count that my loop will uh, work one time two time three time four time and up to the number of record i have in the get record element let me just click on done right and let's save this flow loop in salesforce flow so, so this is just for the demo purpose that's why i'm using this kind of name if you are in a project or something please use appropriate name because it's kind of a best practice to give give a good name to your flow so that each and every person who are going to go through your flow can easily understand okay what is flow is going to do let's click on save and now let now let's try to debug so before click on run let me check what are the number of accounts i have in my org so simply going to use the salesforce inspector plugin to do that I'm going to simply make the query select count ID from account and click on export so here you can see I have 13 records available in my Salesforce org so that means get record element will fetch 13 records right so let's move to the uh, debug process and let's click on run so first of all you can see account name is Jenna point and count value is one now I'm going to click on next so now the flow will run twice and you can see United Oil and Gas UK count is 2 if I click on next here you will see count is also updated to 3 and the value of the account name is also changed to United Oil and Gas Singapore let me just click on next 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 a uh, couple of times because we have around 13 records right so it probably the count value should be 13 at the end so here you can see account name is s force and count is 12 now i am going to click on next one more time now here you can see sample account for entitlement and count is 13 right so that means this is the end result of our uh, get record element when we use loop in our uh, flow right that means flow will fetch each and every record one by one in our uh, flow right so that's what our flow will do you can even create records right similarly let's say uh, you need to create 13 record 13 task record to these account what you can do use a create record element for that but there are lot more concept which i need to let you understand i will create a next video where you can uh, understand the concept okay why we are not using a create record element just inside the uh, loop element right so that's a different topic for now just uh, focus on this and here you can see account name is sample account for entitlement count is 13 now i'm going to click on next and here you can see the flow is completed right so in the debug logs here you can also see when the count is 13 and loop is also ended so that's how you can use loops in salesforce flow and i hope you also learned the concept how loops actually work in salesforce right now if i move to the flow you also see this uh, if i click on the edit element and here you also see last item to first item right let's select this and see what will happen to our flow let's save our flow now and now let's try to debug so in the earlier case you will see sample of entitlement account is the last account in our uh, iteration but when i click on run you will see sample account for entitlement is the first account right because we select end to first element so that's the simple order we can change uh, from the loop element right so i hope you get the point so now one more concept which i want to let you know so just forget about it this is not related to loops and all this is just a quite simple uh, point which i want just want to let you know if i remove my uh, loop element right okay i need to first delete my screen and now i can remove this so here you can see i simply use a, a count add one while i am inside a loop right just to let you know that how many times my flow loop will run it's up to 13 time because we have 13 record element in our salesforce flow but let's say if you want to show 
how many records or how what is the value or what is the size of the get record element we are using right so simply there is an operator called equals count and for equals count you need to simply provide the get record element or collection variable inside the value so i am going to write all accounts so if i click on done and use an another screen to display the count of the variable so let's say display text and let's say count count value in the body i am going to simply use that variable and click on done okay i need to provide the screen name so let's say a just to assume let's click on done now and hit on save and try to debug let's click on run so here you can see 13 is the number which automatically comes over there so this is just a quick concept which i just want to let you know in the next video i am going to let you know how you can use loops uh, to create multiple records in salesforce and that's the next topic of the video so thank you so much if you're watching this video till now i will see you in another video